Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge and welcome back to Waterworks, where we are back once again trying to provide lots of lovely clean water to the residents of the medieval Polish town of Grujons, and things are going very well. So we're on turn 101, and look at Grujons, it looks amazing right now. It all looks very colourful, it looks very modern, I mean gone, gone are the little sort of, you know, tiny houses with the straw roofs, all the sort of thatched roofs are gone. We've now got sort of relatively fancy modern looking buildings, all the roads are paved, all the walls around the city have been upgraded to what looks like proper sort of brick walls and all that sort of stuff. It looks very nice indeed. And again, we don't see this too much because normally we have the kind of, you know, the water overlay on because that's kind of what we're here to do. We're here to provide water to everybody. But it is nice just to just to have a little look at how things are changing around Grujons. So where, well, yes, the big thing last time was that we got this thing in. We got our wonderful water wheel constructed and this has allowed us to build ourselves our pipe network. And there it is. I mean, our pipe network is a little bit of a mess right now. I'll give you that. I mean, it's quite heavy down this end of the town, but over here, it's not so good. And of course, less water gets down here. When you actually place these little sump things where the water comes out over this end of the town, they provide less water. But still, I still think we need to get more sumps down here. I mean, this side is quite sump heavy. There's what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven over that side. There's a couple in the middle of the town, and then there is one over here to the west of the town. So if we can, I'd like to try and sort that out because this side of the town is looking a little bit low on water as well, particularly this corner here. And of course, Lazy Corner, they're always complaining about no water. You live nearest the river, go and get some, get a bucket and go on a walk. So, um, so yeah, we need to try and sort of work this out. Get this down here sorted out, because yes, this is costing us a little bit of influence. But we're getting some nice money coming in, and influence is plus three. So it's going up. We're not losing influence, which is okay. So let's crack on, shall we, and just sort of carry on. So we've got this water pump thing here, which I think we might want to get done. So a sophisticated design of water pumps. I think this is the next big thing that we want to get done. Oh, hang on, what's that? That gives us 10 money for 10, uh, 10 influence. Yeah, go on, yeah, we'll do that. We'll absolutely do that. So yeah, we're getting, yeah, we've got 43. Yeah, we're only getting three, which is not brilliant, but okay, that's fine. Right, well, um, does that need a scribe? No, so we'll pop the scribe up into storage. And then yeah, water pumps. So let's have a go at this, I think. Oh no, no, we've not got any building materials at all. We have no building materials to get this. Oh, that's very unfortunate. Okay, what does this actually give us? So it says the mechanism of two suction pressure pumps to be placed in a well, which was dug next to the channel. The pumps will be powered by a water wheel through a crankshaft. They'll suck up the water from the well and pump it up to the top of the water tower where the distribution tank is located. This device is much more efficient than a bucket wheel or buckets on chains. This sounds like it's linked to, yeah, it's linked to a water tower. So there's gonna be another card which allows us to build a water tower, I would imagine. Okay, right, so we need to get that done. Have we got two craftsmen? I imagine we have, so there is one. Yes, we'll deploy you, and there is another, okay. So two craftsmen are in. We don't want these things, they're a little bit kind of rubbish. Um, yeah, okay, end our turn right now. So over to turn 102. And yeah, these ones are costing us quite a bit of influence. Now most people, very happy. Most people are delighted with the water, but yeah, these ones here are really bringing us down, particularly this place just here, I think. Ah, we've got the two building materials. Okay, right, get this in now, because this could be very good. Cost us another 10 gold. Yeah, okay, do that. So water pumps, construction complete. Does this mean we're now gonna have water pumps? I mean, do they link to the wheel and make it more effective? I don't know. In the first half of the 16th century, instead of buckets, water work in Europe began to use suction and pressure pumps, so-called piston pumps. Ah, okay, right, so they're kind of piston type things. Okay, so they're more effective than the bucket wheel. Ah, that's what this is up here. Right, so it's an upgrade to our wheel by the sounds of it. Okay, that sounds quite good. I don't know if we've actually implemented that yet. It might be a card that comes out. Okay, we'll keep that, and we will keep that. And what does this give us? We can send a shiny golden ring over to the town's ruler to earn 10 prestige. Now, I'm very tempted to do that now because we're making quite a bit of money, but we're not getting too much influence. So it might be quite a good idea to spend 10 of our money on getting 10 influence because, yeah, we're making 16 money. So let's do that. Let's try and keep our influence up a little bit because it is getting, it's not low, minus 100 is when the actual game ends. So we're okay with that, but we're only getting plus two. And now, now we're on minus two because of the huge influx of people that's just moved in. Oh, good. Isn't this wonderful? Um, yeah, that gives us 40 money. I mean, we'll keep that. We'll bank that. Do you know what? Can we bank all of these? Ah, no, we can't. There is a foreman and a scribe. 
We've got a foreman. We've got quite a lot of builders. We've got quite a lot of builders. Can we pop a foreman into there? And we've only got one scribe as well. Right, other builder, away with you. Pop a scribe in. So we've got... Oh, no, we've got three scribes. Okay, three scribes, three builders. I oh, know, four builders, two craftsmen, two... Yeah, plenty, you know, good mix of sort of people there. Right. Is there anything we can do to try and try and lessen the damage here? They're based over there. What if we put that there? We're now on minus one. Okay, so it's made the tiniest bit of difference. Um, what if we put that there? It's going to go from minus one to minus two. Um, ah, okay. This levels it out if we move our water cart thing to over there. Sorry, water wagon. Sorry, I downgraded you. And then we have got a little water cart. Ah, if we put you there, that gets us up to plus four. Okay, what if we move you over? That's still going to be plus four. Doesn't make any difference to anything. That's going to be going down to plus three. Okay, that doesn't make any difference particularly. What if we do that? I was going to go to minus one. That's terrible. That's down to plus two. Yeah, there's a useful thing up in the top left there when you actually sort of drag it over. It does tell you the, the next, you know, if you move this over, it tells you what the final result's going to be. Now, I hadn't noticed that. I hadn't noticed that. People pointed that out in the comments. Thank you, commenting people. Um, do you know what? I think that's about as good as we're going to get. I don't think we can get much better than that. Yeah, that's plus one, that's plus four, that's plus three. That's kind of about the best we're going to have, which is better than it was. So, okay, I'm happy with that. So, go to the next turn. More people are going to move in. We need more either sumps or water wheels, uh, water water carriers, water carts, all that kind of stuff. A oh, water cart. Oh, you heard me, game. Okay, what can we do here? That gives us plus five. And that kind of sorts out this end of town a little bit. That gives us plus six, however. Aha. Okay, so plus five, plus four, plus five, plus four. Yeah, that gives us plus six. Let's pop you up there. There you go. Right, plus six influence. So it's the people down here that are a bit grumpy. Okay, right. So pop a permit into there. And we can't use any of those. Okay, these turns are flying by very quickly. I'd like some more pipe stuff. Can we not get some more kind of pipe network stuff in? That would be better. Oh, that corner house has started going a bit wobbly. Ah, here we go. Water pumps. A set of suction piston pumps used in constructions removed from the game after use. Okay, so they're part of something else then. So store those away, because you might as well. That play uh, gives us some money. Um, yeah, well, we'll keep that. We'll keep the permit. And again, the two people we can't use because we've got a uh, full sort of, full little sort of uh, storage area for people. More people are going to be moving in. Oh my goodness me. Can we get some more things? Can we get some more things, please? Um, We have got 117 money. What if we give 40 money to the to the ruler of the town? There we go. We send them a shiny bracelet. It says there, this bracelet is so shiny. Um, Yeah, okay. Let's, let's do that. Hang on. What did that say at the bottom? All that glitters is not gold. There are also gemstones. <laughs> Indeed, yes. Right, drop that into there. Let's spend a bit of money, but also get us a massive pile of influence. So we're not in trouble with that. And then we'll keep all of those things there. Apart from the builder, can we have some things that give us water? Can we please have like sumps and pipes and things? Because we haven't got anything that really provides us water and we're running out. Um, we'll keep a permit. Can we keep a permit? No, we can't. Have we got enough? Oh, we've got loads of permits. There's absolutely loads of them. Right, okay, right. We don't need to keep a permit. And again, we can't keep the foreman. Okay, right, so... Let's go through to the next turn. Big pile of money coming in. Influence is now just not increasing. It's not decreasing. And even after that, that's good. Oh, no. Okay, right. <laughs> there is a fire, which is somewhat unfortunate. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Let me grab a water cart. Put it over there. Right, there we go. So the fire is dealt with, but now we're a water cart down. How wonderful. Right, keep the gift. Keep the building materials. Can't do anything with those. Okay, things are moving by very quickly now. It kind of feels like... We need to be doing something, but I don't really know what. People keep moving in. Influence is looking okay. Clean water. Craftsmen and farmers are contaminating the water supply channel and a change in the law is necessary, but it will not be appealing to everyone. It is necessary to introduce a ban on softening and tanning leather, as well as the construction of barns and pigsties by the Trinker Canal. You'll need some documents and scribes who will take care of the details. Okay, so this is going to cost us two scribes and presumably three document cards so three permits then we could do and if we do it we get a bit of money and a bit of prestige if we don't do it then yes we lose ourselves oh, hang on you'll need some documents and scribes who will take care of the details okay so yes people are contaminating the water so we need a couple of scribes 
And what's that? Just three document cards, so three permits or whatever we could do for that. Okay, that's fine. And if we do this, we get 20 money and 20 influence. If we fail, we lose 30 influence. That's quite a lot. That's quite a chunk of stuff to lose. Okay, let's get this done now. Let's get this done now. We've got all the cards available. So pop a scribe into there and another scribe into there. We've definitely got the money available. So that's all fine. Can we put that in? Does that just count as one of the cards? Oh, okay. That's quite nice. Oh, hang on. That's what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be building Waterwork 4. Right, okay. Now we know what we need to do. Okay. <laughs> Possibly should have noticed that before. Um, Yeah, a small donation and another small donation because the permits are probably more useful. So, yeah. Okay. How about that? And then we've got... It doesn't cost anything to finalize. So, okay. Do that as well. Okay, so we actually got some money out of that and a bit of uh, bit of influence, which is very welcome. Right, now let's get the water work kind of upgrade done. And I think we should now be able to complete this because we do have the various bits and bobs required. So there we go. So we'll drop that in. Yes, here we go. Grujon's water work with pumps will consist of three components. An oblong one-story building located on a wooden bridge mounted on stilts directly above the canal. The water flowing beneath this building will be moving the water wheel. A building located on the bank of the canal with piston pumps, yes, we've got those things, instead of a well, oh no, inside, sorry, a well, underneath the building powered by a water wheel. A water tower located at the second line of the city walls with pipelines and a distribution tank. Okay, so we need various things to get this done. Fortunately, a lot of the stuff is at the bottom here, which is actually quite useful. So there we go, we've cleared our handout, but we still do have more stuff up here. So get a builder. Now, building materials. Oh yeah, oh, we can get this done. We can get this done right now. Oh, this is brilliant. Right, there's the water tower. Get ourselves one permit, and then the water pumps can come in because we kept them. Yeah, we should have done this possibly a little bit earlier. I kind of forgot that was up there. It's 30 to finish it off, but this is huge. Right, that is now providing significantly more water to all bits of the city. And it's not diminishing the further it goes away from the wheel now. So presumably it's sorting out the pressure or somehow. I don't know how it's doing that. But yes, everybody over here in the west of the city is now getting access to the same volume of water as the people over to the east near the river. Okay. The completion of the water work with pumps has greatly improved the water supply efficiency and in turn the whole town got much easier access to water. Oh, look at that. That's looking very good indeed. Plus five influence. Right, this is very good. Is there anything we can now build? That's requiring royal sigils. That must be another upgrade that we're going to get at some other point. But okay, right, on to turn 110. More people will move in. Please move in into good places. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. And a sump. Oh, thank goodness. Right, okay. Can we deploy this right now? Oh, do you know what? We need a pipe. We need one pipe to go here or here. And that would really help. I suppose we could put a sump just there, actually. That would be okay. That would help provide quite a bit of water to, to these two down the bottom here. Do you know what? Let's drop that in just there. That should then sort them out. Oh, that's that's wonderful. That is wonderful. Okay, right now we've only got three lots of grumpy people and one of those is Lazy Corner. How's the town looking? It's, it's still changing though. This bit here looks a bit different now. That's a fancy building right there. I do like how it modernizes. That's very good. Uh, right, who should we store away? Two foremen. Ah, yeah, we'll grab a builder. We'll take a builder. We'll take another builder. How many builders does that give us? One, two, three, four, five. Right, and we'll grab another foreman because you never know. And there we go. And you can't do anything, my good sir, because we haven't got room for you. Okay, right. On to the next. So the next thing is going to be something to do with building something that gives us access to town sigils. Because that is a thing that we just... Oh, now, oh, now we get pipes. Oh, I see. Now we get some. Because, yeah, the drilled well says we need a royal sigil, but we don't have access to those now. So maybe we need another card that then sort of, you know, upgrades us to the next era of tech or whatever. Um, right, keep that, because we might as well. Water cart. Okay. Now this corner here is probably bring us down quite a lot. I mean, I know they're lazy. I know they could go and get water for themselves from over here. Just go out the gate with a bucket. But if we put that over there, that's plus... It's only plus three. It's only plus three. But it does make them less grumpy. I mean, they're still grumpy, but they're less grumpy. And then a couple of pipes. I mean, ideally, we want to get water down this end of the town. So if we put ourselves a, a pipe there and get a sump over here, that would work. 
And then, yeah, maybe another pipe over that way. But then we need another pipe to try and get that corner sorted. Because, yeah, they've got sumps all over the place around here. But then the middle here, the middle here, oh, we could put a sump there if we had access to one. Okay, that would help sort out those guys in the middle. Do you know what? We'll put one, we'll put one there. There we go. So drop a pipe in. Currently a pipe leading to completely nowhere, but that's okay. Right, money comes in. Influence ticks up quite nicely. Plus seven is okay. And it's still remaining on plus seven, which is very nice. Um, we'll keep the building materials. I mean, we'll keep all these things. We can always get rid of them if we have to. That was a nice, easy, quick turn, wasn't it? Yeah, and yeah, I don't know when the game finishes. I think we sort of... Did we touch upon this last time? I'm not entirely sure if there's an end point. I don't know if it ends at, you know, sort of turn 125, 300 or what. I'm not entirely sure. Um, so yeah, we'll just, we'll just keep playing because I am enjoying this. It's very nice. So an improved workshop. Yes, we'll have one of those, please, right now. And we'll drag the building materials in as they are. They're right there. So we will put a small workshop in the waterwork building next to the pump. A system of transmission belts and gears. Yep, I completely know what they are. We'll supply the drive from the water wheel to the devices in the workshop. This construction will let you create more pipes and sumps and develop plans of new technological advancements. Okay, so that's going to give us more pipes. It's going to give us a sump. Advanced sumps, underground tunnels, improved pumps, heated water tower. Oh, we can all go for a nice swim. Okay, that sounds good. Right, we'll store that away. Um, we can probably get this done. We've got the permit, definitely. And we have plenty of people stored away now. Um, yep, yeah, get the builder. And get us a craftsman. There we go. Okay, tend to finish it. Yes, please. Right, so loads of fancy new cards have just gone into the uh, gone into the deck there. We can't do anything else. So, yes. Move on to turn 114. Influence is still ticking up quite nicely. It's still on plus seven, even after all those people have moved in. Oh my goodness me. Right. We're going to have to build one of these first. <laughs> I just don't know which one to build. Right. Drop a pipe in just there. So that means we could put a sump over there if we wanted and a sump down here. So that might sort those guys out. And then over here, there can be a sump there and a sump there now. What if we? You know, this corner needs a bit of help? What about those guys up there? That's only providing 20 water for 19 people. So they're getting a little bit close to the limit as well. So how can we can we do this? Do you know what? We're not going to deploy that pipe right now. We're going to keep that. We're going to store a pipe away. Um, and now, what do we want to do here? I mean, improved pumps or advanced sumps. Uh, let's go for advanced sumps. That sounds fun and exciting, doesn't it? And we'll store away that and we'll store away that for later use. Okay, oh, we need loads of building materials. I think we've got enough. Oh, we've got, we're just one short. Okay, never mind. Right, so pop that into there and that into there. We'll get the permit done, because why not? And let's put some people in. We've got a builder. There's probably a craftsman in here somewhere. There you go, fixing a wheel. And we can get one more person in. Um, okay, get the foreman in. He can start you know, making plans and stuff. So there we go. Right, on to the next. Let's see what happens now. Please move into good areas. Please don't move into areas which are terrible. Yeah, if they move into the bad areas, it's you know, it doesn't make it look any worse. A uh, sump. Okay, right. We put the sump just here, I think. Hang on, how are they doing? 21 water for 20 people. They've got 23 water for 19. So they've got four capacity. They've only got one. So if we drop this in here, that is an extra seven water going in. Oh, look at that. That is a thing of wonder. Okay, so now... It's this sort of corner here, these guys in this corner, and then, of course, yeah, lazy corner, and underground tunnels. Okay, we'll keep them as well. Oh, this is wonderful. This is wonderful. We've got so many cards to work on. Okay, we'll get ourselves a scribe. I think we can get the craftsman in as well. So, yep, yeah, there you go. Craftsman goes in. And that's it. We just need building materials. We can't, you know, we can't finish this thing now. We can't do any more until we get building materials. So we can store things away. We can sort of, yeah, squirrel things away. Oh, not another war. Oh, botherations. Okay. Okay. Seven turns. Um, yeah, we've got to put people up here who are going to go to war. And now there's four people. Um, yeah, you can go to war. You can go to war. It's fine. Right. Shrink that out of the way. Building materials in. We can't afford to finish this off right now. Um, and that... 
gives us some money. Do you know what? We're going to do that. We're going to do that. That gives us money. And we'll do that because that gives us money. And now, now we can afford to finish off the advanced sumps. The old wooden wells of water supply sumps will be replaced by much stronger and tighter brick wells. Thanks to this, the efficiency of the whole water network will improve across the city. Okay, hang on a minute. So what's this going to do? So there's sumps there. So let's look here. Let's look here. So this place here, three along from the top, that's got 20 water provided right now. So if we do that... Oh, they're just getting an extra one. They're just getting an extra one. So a sump is providing one bit of extra water wherever it is in the city. Okay, this is wonderful. So yeah, waterwork wells called sumps usually look like a barrel without a lid placed in a wooden crate dug in the ground and had sand strewn in to stabilise it. The sand between the barrel and the crate also played a filtering role, limiting the penetration of external dirt in the well. Water pipes were connected to the barrel. From the outside, the sumps resembled classic wooden wells. Over time, the wooden barrel was replaced with brick wall, which was much tighter and more durable. Okay, there we go. So now we've got little sort of brick sumps rather than wooden ones. And yeah, look, that's gone up to 21. Okay, right. Well, that was pretty good. That was quite effective. Right, get through to the next turn. How are we going to do this? We need to get another couple of people in. Um, who have we got up here? Builders. Right, we want to get some craftsmen in and a scribe. So we've at least got one of each sort of person type. Um, we've got plenty of builders. So let's go into here and... It'll, yeah, let's just deploy two more builders. There you go. You can go away to war. Have have fun having a fight. Yeah, there we go. Splendid. Right, store the craftsmen away. Okay, now what do we want to do? Heated water tower. Improved pumps. That sounds quite good. That needs two lots of building materials. That needs three lots of building materials for the heated water tower. And that needs three lots of building materials as well. Okay, right. Improved pumps then. Let's get this going. And we can't finish this, unfortunately, because we do not have... I don't have any building materials, have we? No, none at all. Absolutely nothing. But we do have another craftsman. So pop that in. So now... We just need to wait for building materials. Whenever we get building materials, we know where they're going to go. They're going to get thrown straight into our project. Oh, it's looking a bit bad over the west of the town. It's not looking good. Oh my goodness me, a water cart. Yes, go just there and try and offset some of the damage. Okay, doesn't look quite so bad. Sorry, lazy corner. I do apologise. Right, keep that. Do you want keep all of these things? Keep and keep and keep. Why not? Um, yeah, okay. Next turn. We can't do anything. We can't do anything. We need building materials so and you've gone into those houses that is getting a bit close up there it's getting a little bit close right one lot of building materials goes in which is good that's okay we'll store all this stuff away except possibly that permit because i think we've got lots of permits anyway so that's not so bad 16 money rolls in the influence is looking pretty good as well okay building materials oh yes building materials thank you okay 10 to complete we've got 73 so there we go we now have improved water pumps in the deck so this is going to be something to do with improving this isn't it? there's going to be another upgrade to the water wheel okay wonderful now what do we do we can't do that that or that what's that allows the training of engineers that sounds very exciting okay let's get a what do we want to do they look more or less the same. Um, let's get a heated water tower. Let's try and deploy this in, shall we? Uh, and then, yep, got a builder. We've got ourselves a foreman down the bottom there. We'll store that other builder away. I think we've got plenty of permits going on. It's the building materials again that we're going to be struggling with. Get a scribe in to, I don't know, write about the water tower, write a nice poem or something. Um, oh, we need two craftsmen and we have entirely none of them squirreled away okay so we need some craftsmen and plenty of building materials that is now what we need we can't do anything else without it however people are moving in that's looking okay right we'll keep that here we go this is oh hang on now we need to finish this thing off before we get waterwork five more efficiency uh, right keep that that is absolutely crucial okay go to next turn just give us give us loads of loads of building materials, please. <laughs> we need them. Because then we can get this thing out of the way and build an even fancier water wheel. Okay, right. The deck has been shuffled. Craftsman. Okay, we need those. So in goes a craftsman. In goes a craftsman. We've got room to store all those because we might as well do so. And there we go. 
turn ends. Sometimes the turns in this can take, you know, you can sit thinking for ages about where to place a sump and what cards to keep. And sometimes the turns just, you know, fly by a bit like that. They're just really, really quick. Oh, good. There's a fire. Splendid. Right. OK, you can go from Grumpy Corner over to there. That's not wonderful, is it, in that corner? That's not great to see. However, two lots of building materials. Thank you. Thank you. And a craftsman and a builder. Have we got a craftsman of it? No, we haven't. Right, get rid of you, builder, from storage and put a craftsman into storage because we haven't got one of those. And yeah, next turn. Next turn, please. Yeah, I don't like this over here now. That's 10 water for 20 people. Yeah, you get to share baths and stuff. Oh, it's oh, it's getting a little bit... <laughs> it's getting a little bit dicey. I'm not happy with this. Okay, heated water tower. Right, the efficiency of the water network will improve across the city. So these are just improving this thing over here, the fancy upgraded water wheel, which will then have lasting effects for the entire city. We're getting into the plus one. Yeah, so everything is now just getting plus one again, which is nice. Yeah, there you go. So it's gone from minus two influence to plus three. So it must have sorted something out somewhere. Um, right, do the big one. Do the big one. Where is it? Where is it? Waterwork farm. I thought, I thought I hadn't got it then. I couldn't see it. As well. Oh no, I've got rid of it. But no, there we go. Right. Permit. That can go straight in. We got ourselves the... No, that's, that's the wrong button. Press the right button. The improved pumps. They're expensive to deploy, but it's fine. And I think we can get most of the people deployed as well. Because the builders are only three gold to play. So there we go. So builder, builder, builder. And a craftsman that we've kept behind, which is wonderful. However, building materials, again, we don't have any of those. Which is not great, but never mind. Right, store that. Store all of these things. Okay. End our turn. Yeah, there's a lot of red. There is a lot of red appearing. and We need to get this next bit done. Plus one now. That's not encouraging, is it? However, building materials. Okay, 30 to get this done. Okay, right. Hang on, hang on. Can we deploy some of these things? Uh, would, would somebody... Uh, oh, no, it's the other way around. It's the other way around. We need the money for the for the influence. How about this? 40 influence gives us 40 money. Let's do that. Drop that in. Boom. Right, now we can get this sorted. So, yes, please. Right, the construction, the construction of our fancy waterwork with improved pumps is going to increase the population gain by plus one. But, ah... The royal sigils are coming in. Water sewage system. Oh my goodness. Yes, please. Right, more water is coming in. This is splendid. With the upgraded water pumps, the waterwork in its current form has achieved its peak efficiency. Okay, so this thing over here is now yeah, as tip top as it's ever going to be. So there we go. That's looking good. How does the town look? Oh wow. It looks very, it looks a little bit, it looks sort of almost industrial now. You know, I'd expect some sort of factories popping up and stuff, but okay, all right, it's looking nice. Let's store you, store you, store you, and store you. Okay, do we want to start working on something else? A training course allows for the training of engineers. We don't have the royal sigils, though, so we'd have to wait for those things to come in. A drilled well sounds good. It says, the technology of the future, but this, this would improve our water pipes. That would just give us a generic kind of improvement across the entire town. Form and build a craftsman scribe. Building materials times three might be the only problem. But I quite like the idea of just you know, improving things generally. Do you know what? We'll do that. Underground tunnels, please. Let's get that done. Oh my word, that's a lot of things. Uh, yep, yeah, okay. Permit can go in. That's nice. There must be a scribe in there somewhere. There you go, scribey scribe. Right, right about the supply tunnels and how picturesque they are or whatever. Right, get a foreman. And we can do one more thing. Let's get a builder. Builder, builder, builder. In you go. Right. Next turn. Turn one. 126 coming in. I mean, look how much water we're providing. We started with one person down here. <gasps> Oh, fancy things. Keep those things, please. Yeah, we started with one person down here on the dock giving someone else some buckets of water to carry around on their shoulders. And now we've got this massive water wheel, all sorts of fun stuff happening. That building has a very fancy, if spiky looking roof. I mean, yeah, that's quite pointy, but I mean, it looks impressive. And the water sewage system and needs engineers a drilled well and a sewers loud. Right, we'll keep that. We'll store that away because that seems very important as well. So yeah, we're going to get sewers and stuff in. 
this is very good. Influence still ticking up. Money looking very nice as well. Right, what are we going to get now? It'd be lovely if we could finish this. Right, craftsman. Yes, please. Building materials. Yep. Building materials. Yep. Craftsman. Yes. Oh, we need one building material to complete it. That's all we need. Okay, skip through to the next. Can we not just you know, pop down the shop? Can we just pop down the hardware shop and just pick up some building materials? That would be nice. A gift. One of the richest aristocrats of Grujons is getting married. Sending him a gift will boost your position in the eyes of the local lords. If you don't manage to find the right gift before the wedding, your reputation will suffer. I think we have a small gift in storage, just in case. Okay, wonderful. Yes, absolutely. A gift request completed. What a wedding that was. Your gift was received and appreciated by the married couple. There you go. 20. Splendid. Thank you for that. That's, that's actually quite nice. That's actually quite useful. Right building materials. Let us get a water supply tunnel. A bricked water supply tunnel with pipelines placed inside will distribute water to municipal water wells, sumps. Don't mention the tunnel will allow people to move inside and carry out maintenance and repair works. Thanks to this, efficiency of the whole water network will improve. But we don't have enough money right now, but we could do this again. There we go, we we'll do a generous donation. Thanks person. And there we go, another plus one to all of the sumps. Wonderful. So in present day, in the place of the water tower, its very bottom, there is a partly buried, fortified and vaulted hole under the city walls. Perhaps this was the beginning of an underground water tunnel through which water was distributed around the city. Possibly. Maybe. I don't know. Right. What do we want to get underway now? So not this. So what does that need? It needs engineers. Ah, these three things need to be in. We need the training course to get engineers. We need the sewer plans, because it says there you need a sewer layout. And you need a drilled well, because it says there we need a drilled well for the requirements of this. So now we've got to build these three things here. Um, Yeah, training course will do. Let's get that sort of done and dusted. We need a royal sigil. We have a few of those. They're quite expensive to deploy. Let's, let's not do anything else right now, because we can't. So do that, do that, and store that. Okay pop over to turn 129 the sort of the west side of the town is looking a little bit a little bit dodgy that's not looking wonderful is it and what do we need craftsman craftsman scribe we've got builder 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 foreman oh wonderful uh, right a scribe we can pop you in and have we got any craftsmen in storage yes we have so we've got two craftsmen in storage however that means we cannot afford to do this right now but never mind we can also store all of these things away there we go keep everything in storage please and the next turn we can get that done oh no we can't quite get it done i don't think yeah this is getting this is getting tricky now ah, i was gonna say we need a water cart and there is a water cart right pop that up into the corner that got to plus nine that is brilliant okay right that's really good <laughs> that's very helpful we can't keep these do we need anything we've got loads of builders We've got loads of builders. Right, away with you builders. And we'll have the craftsman. And we'll have the scribe. Yeah, we've got plenty of builders in there. It's all fine. Right, on to the next. Come on, come on. We've got the money. We can get this thing done. This is part one of our grand sewage project. So, yep, yeah, shuffly, shuffly. Please give us some good cards. Okay, wonderful stuff. Yes, please. Okay, we now can get engineers. The construction of the Grujons waterworks was commissioned at the end of the 19th century by the engineer Heinrich Schweven. Schweven. I don't know how you said that, but I, I probably said it all sorts of wrong. So Heinrich Schweven from uh, that place, Bochum, Bochum, I don't know, Germany. Uh, while a sewage system and sewage treatment plans were created in 1905 to 1907 by a company, Winschard and Langlot, from... <laughs> <laughs> this place, this place here. Maybe somebody in the comments might have actually said, can you say this place? Somebody, because they said, oh yes, you said, you said Grujons very well, but can you pronounce another place? It might well have been this place. Um, bye, bye, J. Josh. <laughs> that place though, that begins with B. I don't know. I'm really sorry. I tried. <laughs> it was all sorts of terrible. Um, Okay, I mean, yeah, we need these two in. So, you know, it's either or, really. That looks easier to do in terms of requirements. We can't do anything now because we have no money left. But, uh, but yeah, so we need all those things in. Can we store all this stuff? We can store that. 
I'd rather store the building materials and then craftsman and a builder. We've only got one craftsman, so move the builder, store the craftsman. There we go. Right, we can't do anything else. Don't care about the small gift because that's just a little bit kind of naff. So there we go. Still getting plus nine after people have moved in. Still getting plus nine. Okay, wonderful. Ah, engineers. We want this. We want, Who can we kick out? Uh, there's a builder. Oh, wait. Oh, no, hang on. Hang on. No, we can't do any of this. Hang on. What do we need in here? Scribes. Okay. Move some scribes into here, please. And then we can store the engineers. Oh, my goodness me. Yeah, they're, they're kind of precious. We need to keep those. Um, and another scribe for five. A craftsman for six. Oh, that works out quite nicely. Yeah, there we go. And we have to wait a couple of turns to get the sigil in. But now we can store a craftsman and a builder and a permit. Can we go in here and just trade in? Can we trade in a bit of influence? What about a common donation? Can we get that done? That gives us 20 money. How much do we need to finish this? Oh, no, we need the sigil. Um, yeah, okay. Do you know what? Why not? Pop that into place. Now we need 20 money again. <laughs> so can we play a common donation again? So boom, that gives us the money. Then we say yes. Sewage plans, construction complete. The preparation of the sewer network project began with the construction of the modern water supply systems in 1899. In 1905 to 1907, based on the technical documentations prepared, municipal sewage systems of the total length of 56 kilometers were built, as well as sewage treatment plans. So we're kind of not, we're not like modern, but yeah, we're not back in the dark ages or whatever anymore. It's now around about the sort of, what, the end of the 1800s and the start of the 1900s. If we're sort of sticking with this sort of, you know, the historical record. That's quite interesting. I kind of imagine this still to be quite early. But yeah, if we look at the, if we look at the buildings, yeah, they're now, look at, look at this. That's obviously like the town hall or something. The buildings are huge now and wonderful looking. I do like how that one... It's got a little courtyard in the middle. It's sort of connected to the walls. It must have a nice courtyard in there. Um, yeah, okay. Let's go to the next turn. So turn 133. Oh my goodness. All uh, right, there you go. So if you don't have the, the supply and demand overlay thing on, it, you can sort of see what's going on anyway. I do prefer it with that on. It makes things a lot more sort of sensible to look at that. So, uh, right, keep the sewer layout. Keep that, please. Right, we need to work on the drilled well. That's the next thing we need to get done. So what do we need for this? Constructing a drilled well is one of the steps needed to create a modern water sewage system. So sigil, materials, builder, foreman. Okay, we can drop a builder in. Could we do... Oh, no, it's too risky doing that. It's too risky doing the generous donation. I think we can... We'll, we'll kind of bank it away. And then we've got a scribe and a foreman. Do we need to keep a scribe? We haven't got a scribe. And we've still got loads of builders. So we'll take a scribe instead of a builder. Yeah, okay. That will do the job. Money slowly ticking up. But yeah, it's not... The influence isn't going over 100. So when the influence goes over 100, we do get some nice... We get some money paid in for that. But yeah, it's currently not doing that. So we're only earning this money here. Silver or lead? The owner of a nearby mill, Mr... Bagunevsky, possibly, declared that the drinking canal passes through his land. He began building weirs and destroying the causeway. Okay, can we not just go and stop him? Because he sounds a bit like an idiot. We need to come to an agreement with him. Perhaps sending him a gift as a gesture of goodwill can strike up a good conversation. Can we not just go and tell him to stop being a bit of a wally? Um, right, common gift. Oh, it's, it's all of our money and we can't even afford it right now. Oh, dearie me. So yes, and if we do this, we get some influence, which is nice. If we don't, we lose money and influence. Okay, fine, we'll deal with that as well, shall we? Sorry, everyone, I'm sorry you can't have you know, fresh water drink, but some Wally who lives up river is deciding to destroy your water supply. But never mind, we'll go and bribe him with a fancy, shiny trinket. Right, can we get that sorted? I want to get this done and out of the way. I just want this to be gone. So a common gift, there you go. There's a builder down here, there you go. And fine. Right, there you go. Enjoy it. Mr. Bagnevsky, possibly, will no longer cause any trouble. You don't have to know anything else, okay? <laughs> I was never here and I didn't see anything. Okay, bye-bye now. Um, right, we'll keep that in case we need it. Okay, so, Royal Sigil, Building Materials, Foreman. We can probably get the Foreman in, yay. And we can get Building Materials in, yay. And then we're going to have to wait a little while, let's be honest. 
to get the Royal Sigil in, unless now, now we can go for a generous donation. So pop that in, because we had quite a lot of influence there. That gives us an immediate great big pile of money. Then we can deploy the final Royal Sigil, and we can finish this as well. Oh, yes. <gasps> Shiny pipes. Okay, shiny proper pipes aren't made of wood or whatever they were made of before. So there we go. The constructing of a modern water supply plant located at the at Haller Street began on June the 1st, 1899. The construction work took six months. This completely new water supply system with two suction pumps, uh, pumps powered by steam engines, supplied water from deep wells to the treatment plant, the filtering plant. From there, high pressure pumps push water to the water supply network, as well as the expansion tank and the new water tower. So that's not going to do anything to us right now. But now, I think... Yeah, we can't deploy any of these cards right now. Hang on. So, yeah, store that away. And what do we need? We've got a craftsman. We've got one craftsman and one scribe. No, we've got two craftsmen. Okay, do you know what? We'll keep the scribe. Right, turn 136, the drilled well card has appeared. So we'll definitely be taking that. And then, yes, now it's this here, isn't it? It's the water sewage system that requires all the stuff that we've just been working on. So let's just drop this into play because it's looking okay. It's looking okay around Grujons right now. There's a few places that are looking a little bit dodgy in terms of water. But yeah, for the most part, yeah, we're not losing stacks of influence. There are some areas that are getting less water than we would like, but it's looking okay. So we've got ourselves this. There's an awful lot of requirements for this. We haven't really got the money right now. So a modern hydrotechnical, which is a wonderful word, solution involving the connecting of water supply and sewage disposal systems into one. This huge investment requires the employment of qualified engineers. Do not worry, we have them standing by. And the construction of a deep well. Don't worry, we've kind of got the concept of that. With steam-driven pumps, an extensive pipeline network, and sewage treatment plants. We've got all this planned. We've got all of this planned. We just need... Ooh, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money we need to get this thing done. I suspect maybe this is the final thing we need to do. I'm kind of thinking, you know, logically it would make sense if this was the final thing. But it's going to take a lot of effort to get there. Do you know what? Let's start somewhere. Let's, let's assign a builder and we need... Okay, hang on. Building materials. Let's assign some building materials. There we go. We can't do anything else right now. We can't keep any of this stuff. So, okay, on to the next turn. Money is slowly ticking in. We could do with another little water cart thing. We could do with a water cart. Give us a water cart, somebody. No, never mind. Um, okay, foreman, we'll drop you in. And a craftsman, right, we'll put you in. And I think we're down to, yes, we're down to just five money. Ah, however, however, building materials, we can pop that in as well. Okay, so now we're down to no money again. We'll keep the common donation just in case we need it. The influence is still looking okay, but people are moving in. Things are not looking overly brilliant when people move in. It's, yeah, we're now on minus one. Oh, good. And there's a fire as well. Well, this is this is really going to help, isn't it? Right, hang on a second. There's a fire. Let me go and put the fire out. Now it's on minus three. Yay. Right, hang on. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Can we grab that water thing? That's going from minus three to minus five. That's going to go from minus three to minus two. Ah, Okay, we can get it so it levels out. If we put this uh, water, sort of, you know, big water wagon thing over here, it goes from minus three to just nothing, which is better. It's better than losing stuff. Okay, let me move you around. Put you there. Ah, there is plus one. That actually gets us plus one. So we're back into positive influence. Okay, that's good. Okay, a permit. Pop a permit into there. And then we just need lots of money we just need to save lots and lots of money so we're gonna have to run time on hope we can keep things ticking over whilst we earn enough cash that's not going to help matters however that is not going to be useful at all um yeah we can't deploy any of these things we can't get the engineers the well or the sewer layout in because we need 30. essentially we need 190 monies and this can all be finished I don't know if we can do that. I'm not entirely sure. Um, okay, right. These things cost influence for money. I think we might want to keep one of those to use at the very end. And we'll keep that just in case another event pops up where somebody needs a shiny trinket. But yeah, we're pushing it a little bit. It's going to take a while to get that stuff in. 
And yeah, more people moving in, more demands on water coming in. It's still only on minus one. It's still only on minus one. That's pretty good. Okay, go again. We've got ourselves 59. What's it going to look like when the new people move in? Minus two. I mean, it could be worse. It could be a lot worse. And what cards have we got? Oh, we've got a water cart. Oh, that's wonderful news. Now, where shall we put this water cart? Let's see if we can figure out the best place to position this. So that's going to go to plus zero. That's plus one. That's minus two. Still to minus two. That's to minus one. That's to minus two. And that levels out at zero. So that one there, if we put it there, we get plus one influence. Okay. That's quite nice. That's better than it being in the negative. And we can deploy one of these things. I mean, okay, sewer layout. That'll do the job. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what order we do these things in. Can't keep any of those. Okay, right. On to the next turn. We can deploy another thing now, which is wonderful. I and mean, if we get another water cart, that would be really nice. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, okay, right. We can get another one of these things in. Let's get the engineers. Why not? Let's deploy you guys in. There you go. So now I've got the engineers. They can start planning. That's the idea. They can start planning. They've got the sewer blueprint now. They've got building materials as the foreman. So they can discuss plans and stuff. So now it's just the drilled well, which is going to take a couple of turns for us to actually get in. We'll store a craftsman. We've not got many of those in. Okay. So yeah, we're not going to be able to do it this time round. Influence seems to be holding though. Influence, I mean, it's on minus one, but that's not tragic. It's not terrible. You know, when the fires break out, that's a bit of a problem can't keep any of these we can't keep any more people it's now just a case of just clicking through and hoping that our influence holds with all these people moving in now it's a minus two okay we can deploy the final thing so the well the drilled well is going in now we just need 100 money is that all we need but also we need 50 influence crikeys okay okay this is actually tricky. If it was just money, you could just sort of tick time by. But of course, we're losing influence every turn. So we might get to 100 money, but not have enough influence. So now, now we need to... Oh, it's a proper battle this is, isn't it? This is very clever. Okay, right. We're not losing influence if we rejig things that way. I like the way everyone's over here. This side of town, there's one water cart just sort of wandering about, you know, minding his own business. Over here, we've got the water wagons, two of those, three of those, loads of people with water carts wandering around and stuff. There's all sorts going on over here. I mean, we could, we've got a pipe. I wonder if we put one more pipe down, it might trigger under the sump to appear or something. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure, but we do have a pipe available. Um, I mean, yeah, we could, if we had a sump, we could put a sump just there. We could put sumps in other places that would be quite useful. I mean, up here, 13 water for, for 30 people. That's not good, is it? That's not a good sign. But they've got wells there. Hang on. Let's put a thing just... Uh, yeah, there's a well there. So, yeah, we can't actually get a sump into near to these, which is a bit of a shame. However, we could put a pipe just there and then hope that at some point we get another sump. Although I don't know if there, don't know if there are any left in the deck. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, right. A bathhouse. Well, marvellous. The king has offered people right to use the old castle bathhouse in exchange for their support in a war. It's a perfect opportunity to gain some favour with the residents. Let's support the king with an appropriate donation. We might have one of those. We might have a common donation. We have. Okay. That's that. This is brilliant. Okay. It costs us some of this, but then we get 25 back. So in, in actual honesty, we've just made five. We've made five influence. Which is no bad thing, and obviously we've kept the uh, we've kept the king happy and what have you. Okay, that's good. Come on, come on, come on. We need we need more money coming in. We need more money, and the influence is still holding. Oh, not a fire! Oh, this is bad. Okay, drag that water cart from over there. We're on minus two influence. This is this is a tricky balancing act right now. Okay, okay, right. Move time on. Money creeping up, influence going all over the place, and people have moved in. That's not that bad. That's still not that bad. Give us a water cart. Yes, a water cart it is. Okay, that's going to go from minus two to minus two, minus one, minus two, minus two. Okay, was it in the corner? Go from minus two to minus one. Wow, what a <laughs> what a wonderful addition. Yeah. Okay, is this still going to hold? Right, we'll keep that. Because we might need that again in another kind of random event thingamajig. 
Still can't sort of hold any more people. Okay, right. Move time on. We're nearly at 100. We're nearly at 100. I think, I think we might be able to muddle through. It's on minus two. That might cause a bit of a problem. Okay, all these people across the bottom, we can't do anything with them at all. So away with you lot. We're going into turn 149. We might just do this. We might just be able to muddle through. I mean, a water cart, no water carts. Okay, never mind. Is the influence going to hold? It's on 52. We have 100 money. I think, can we not do this? I think we can get this in. A water and sewage system. We've got 100 money and we've got the 50 influence. Only just, only just. But do you know what? This is fine. Let's do it. Let's finish construction. There we are, construction complete. The establishing of water sewage systems ends the era of waterwork and opens a new chapter in history for all of Grujons. Congratulations. Oh, and there we go. Is that it? Are we finished? So it was 250. Oh, okay, that seems quite nice. We only just got there. We just scraped through in the very nick of time. But okay, and there we go. We have finished. Oh, this is wonderful. Is that it now? Is that what Grujons actually looks like now? That's exciting. Success. Nowadays, we take water supply for granted. We don't usually ask ourselves what it was like in the past. We don't consider the fact that immediate and easy access to water wasn't available for everyone at all times. Thanks to your efforts, Grujons had enough water supply to thrive. A modern water supply and sewage system was developed, and it's all thanks to you. I know, I know, I can't take too much credit, but, but yes, it was all thanks to me. You're a true hero to be remembered. Difficulty level normal, turns taken, a very nice round 150 there. That's very good. And then, yeah, we've got some fireworks going on as well over the wonderful medieval Polish town of Grujons, which is all very exciting. And that brings us to the end of our time with Waterworks, and I have thoroughly enjoyed playing this game. It's really, really good, and I'll admit, I enjoyed it far more than I was expecting to, because when you look at what the game is about on a very basic level, it is about providing water to a medieval Polish town. And on the face of it, that's not the most exciting of things, is it really? But when you play, there's an awful lot going on. There's a lot going on in this game and it's really good. It's very compelling and it's turn-based as well, which is quite nice. So you have time to think about things and try and make plans and try and work out what's going on and such like. But yeah, there's a load of stuff going on when you play. You've got your card system and you've got your buildings that you can construct. And then you've got, of course, the grid system of the town. You need to make sure that everywhere's got water. And then you've got all the little sort of random events popping up as well. And then just when you think you've got have sorted when you think it's all looking good everywhere's got water something will happen you know the game will go oh yeah yeah thinking you're all sorted have a fire why don't we and then yeah there'll be a fire and you have to sacrifice one of your water cards to go and put the fire out and then you've not got your balance right around the town again so yeah it's it's really good it's really really good it's very enjoyable and it plays quite well it plays really well it's quite a balanced sort of thing it's not like it's too easy but it's not like it's impossibly hard either you know it's quite a sort of a nice challenge level in there as well so i'm really glad we took the time to play a bit of waterworks and of course it's free it's free. It is completely free. You can go and play this now if you so wish. It's over on Itch.io. There's a link to the Itch.io page in the video description below if you want to go and have a little go, then you can do so. But uh, but yes, we shall finish up for now and we'll finish on a high as well, which is quite nice because, you know, I was hoping that we could, uh, I was hoping that we could achieve success in this. And uh, yes, thankfully we did, which is marvellous. So yeah, we shall finish up for the moment. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, then please do leave a like. That would be very, very splendid indeed. And also if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up today with all the other stuff that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. The City of Cupboard, it can be full of geeks, very loyal geeks to me. It's this sort of stripy hill. That's interesting. Oh, stripy mountain. Sorry, I, I downgraded you to a hill. Just really irritate the Norwegians. Everyone had gold. People were lying on beds of gold. They were eating gold. They were trying to wash their hair with gold. There was gold literally everywhere in our empire.